Witness the legend, the power, passion, legacy. This is the story of Cleopatra, the last pharaoh. Our story begins in the bustling city of Alexandria, Egypt, a place that would witness the rise of a remarkable queen and the continuation of the illustrious Ptolemaic dynasty. It was the year 69 BC, a time when Egypt stood at the crossroads of history. Cleopatra, our future queen, was born into this world of opulence and intrigue. She was the daughter of King Ptolemy Auletes and Queen Cleopatra V, Tryphena, a family known for their tangled webs of power, love, and rivalry. Within the Ptolemaic dynasty, it was not uncommon for siblings to marry to maintain the royal bloodline, a practice that often led to complicated family dynamics and rivalries. Cleopatra's parents, King Ptolemy Auletes and Queen Cleopatra V, Tryphena, ruled Egypt during a tumultuous period marked by economic challenges and political upheaval. As the daughter of this royal couple, Cleopatra's destiny was intricately tied to the future of Egypt. Her upbringing and education would shape her into a formidable leader. Amidst the bustling streets of Alexandria, Cleopatra's education began to flourish, laying the foundation for her extraordinary intellect and future as a queen. From a tender age, Cleopatra displayed a keen intellect and insatiable curiosity. She was a voracious learner, eager to explore the vast world of knowledge that her city had to offer. She engaged in spirited debates with renowned scholars of the time, embracing subjects that ranged from mathematics to philosophy, rhetoric to politics. Cleopatra's education was no ordinary affair. She immersed herself in the wisdom of the past, studying texts written by great thinkers, both Egyptian and Greek. Her linguistic abilities were remarkable, mastering not only Greek, the language of her royal court, but also Egyptian, allowing her to connect deeply with her subjects. By the time she reached her adolescence, Cleopatra was not merely a royal heiress. She was a scholar in her own right, poised to make her mark on history. The Ptolemaic dynasty, despite its external opulence, was marred by internal conflicts and familial rivalries that would shape Cleopatra's early years. Cleopatra's parents, King Ptolemy XII, Orletes and Queen Cleopatra V, Tryphena, shared a complex and intricate relationship. They were not only monarchs of Egypt, but also siblings, a practice not uncommon among the Ptolemies to preserve the royal bloodline. This unusual family dynamic created a tension within the palace walls, where the demands of rulership and familial bonds often collided. Cleopatra, as a young princess, was a silent witness to the intricate web of emotions that coursed through her family, an environment that would later shape her understanding of power and relationships. Within the ornate walls of the royal palace, the line between familial love and political power became increasingly blurred, setting the stage for the tumultuous years that lay ahead. Cleopatra's journey was not merely a personal one, but a saga of familial bonds, political intrigue, and the unyielding pursuit of her destiny as a queen. After the passing of their father, King Ptolemy XII, Orletes, Cleopatra, and her younger brother, Ptolemy XIII, were thrust into the dual roles of co-rulers of Egypt. The young siblings, Cleopatra and Ptolemy XIII, embarked on a journey to govern Egypt, a land rich in history and complexity. As co-rulers, they stood at the helm of an ancient civilization. However, the ideal of harmonious co-rule began to crumble as differences emerged. Cleopatra's intelligence and vision clashed with the advisors surrounding Ptolemy XIII. Cleopatra's ambition and assertiveness were met with resistance from those who sought to undermine her influence and consolidate power around her younger brother. As tensions mounted, Cleopatra found herself at a crossroads, her destiny intertwined with the destiny of Egypt, a kingdom in need of strong and unified leadership. 
the co-rulership of Cleopatra and Ptolemy XIII, marked by collaboration and conflict, was a chapter in the young queen's life that would test her mettle and resilience. In a sudden twist of fate, Cleopatra found herself exiled from Egypt, a land she had co-ruled as a queen. Political intrigues had forced her into exile, but her indomitable spirit burned brighter than ever. As she sailed away from the shores of Egypt, leaving behind the kingdom she loved, Cleopatra's heart was heavy with the determination to return and reclaim her rightful place on the throne. Exile did not break her spirit, it ignited her determination. During her exile, Cleopatra masterminded her return to power. She formed alliances, built networks of support, and plotted her path back to Egypt. Her determination to return and rule Egypt once more would become a testament to her resilience and tenacity. In a daring and fateful move, she embarked on a journey back to Alexandria, the heart of Egypt. Her return was shrouded in secrecy as she knew the political intrigue and danger that awaited her. Cleopatra, the queen in exile, literally concealed herself within the threads of a carpet, a bold strategy to reach the heart of power. It was within the walls of Alexandria that Cleopatra's destiny intersected with that of Julius Caesar, a Roman general whose name echoed across the ancient world. Emerging from the confines of her carpet cocoon, Cleopatra's presence was a revelation. Her intelligence, charisma, and unwavering determination captivated Julius Caesar. Together, they envisioned a future where Egypt would regain its glory and the carpet that concealed Cleopatra would become an iconic symbol of their meeting. Their alliance blossomed into a profound connection, transcending politics and strategy. Love, as well as ambition, bound them together. In the midst of their love affair, Cleopatra and Caesar remained shrewd politicians, carefully navigating the complexities of their respective worlds. Their love was tested by the demands of their positions as they grappled with the consequences of their actions on their nations and themselves. Together, they faced external threats and political adversaries, united by their commitment to each other and their vision for a powerful Egypt. In the heart of Alexandria, love and politics intertwined, creating a complex tapestry of emotions and ambitions that would leave an indelible mark on history. In the heart of Rome, the fate of an empire hung in the balance. Julius Caesar, the powerful Roman general and Cleopatra's ally, faced a day that would change history. Back in Alexandria, Cleopatra felt the tremors of political unrest in Rome. She knew that the tides of destiny were shifting. Within the hallowed halls of the Senate, Julius Caesar addressed his peers, unaware of the brewing conspiracy that threatened his life. The Ides of March brought forth a tragedy that reverberated across Rome and beyond, a moment when the mighty Caesar fell. In Alexandria, Cleopatra received word of Caesar's assassination a moment that would alter the course of her life and the destiny of Egypt. Rome was engulfed in chaos, and the fallout of Caesar's death sent shockwaves throughout the Roman Republic. For Cleopatra, the death of Caesar marked a turning point. She faced a world where alliances had shifted and the future was uncertain. Amidst the vibrant tapestry of Alexandria, a new character emerged, a man of charisma and military prowess, Mark Antony. News of Mark Antony's arrival in Alexandria rippled through the court, stirring intrigue and curiosity. Within the walls of her palace, Cleopatra prepared to meet the Roman general, a man whose reputation as a formidable warrior and leader was widely known. Mark Antony, a towering figure with a magnetic aura, entered Cleopatra's world bringing with him the echoes of battles won and the weight of Roman authority. Their meeting was a convergence of two powerful personalities, each drawn to the other by a force neither could ignore. In the heart of Alexandria, Cleopatra and Mark Antony's alliance marked a turning point, a moment when the sands of fate shifted once more. 
Within the sumptuous halls of her palace, Cleopatra and Mark Antony's relationship deepened as love and power intermingled. Their connection grew stronger with each passing day, their love transcending the boundaries of politics and ambition. Amidst the complexities of their roles, Cleopatra and Mark Antony's love remained a steadfast anchor, grounding them in a world of uncertainty. In the heart of Alexandria, Cleopatra and Mark Antony's relationship evolved into a profound union, a union that would leave an indelible mark on history. On the vast expanse of the Mediterranean Sea, history bore witness to a clash of empires, the fateful Battle of Actium. The Battle of Actium, 31 BCE, was the culmination of a decade-long rivalry between the adoptive son of Julius Caesar, Octavian, and Caesar's favorite general, Mark Antony. The battle was a symphony of chaos, a clash of legacies, ambitions, and the determination to rule. As the battle raged on, Cleopatra and Mark Antony's forces faced a critical moment, a moment that would shape the fate of an empire. In the face of overwhelming odds, Cleopatra and Mark Antony chose to live to fight another day, their love and ambition undeterred. In the heart of Alexandria, Cleopatra and Mark Antony's world had changed forever. Octavian's power loomed and the struggle for dominance had begun. The palace walls witnessed the relentless efforts of Cleopatra and Mark Antony as they plotted to resist Octavian's ascent. Their quest for allies took them to the far corners of the known world, where they sought support to counter the growing might of Octavian. Every decision, every alliance carried profound consequences, a relentless struggle that tested their resolve and their love. In the crucible of power and ambition, Cleopatra and Mark Antony's struggle against Octavian would determine the fate of an empire and the legacy of a queen. In the hushed confines of her chamber, Cleopatra grappled with the weight of her choices, a queen who had tasted both triumph and despair. Her world had been irrevocably altered, and as the walls closed in, Cleopatra faced a decision that would define her legacy. With resolve and a heavy heart, Cleopatra made her final choice, embracing the asp as it marked the path to her destiny. In that quiet chamber, Cleopatra's journey ended, but her legend would live on, a queen who defied fate and embraced her own destiny. With the passing of Cleopatra, Alexandria wept, for a queen had departed, a chapter had ended, and a legacy stood at its crossroads. The Egyptian people, who had seen Cleopatra as their protector and sovereign, grappled with the loss of their beloved queen. As Roman legions entered Alexandria, the final vestiges of the Ptolemaic dynasty faded, and Egypt's autonomy slipped away. As the sun set on the Ptolemaic dynasty, Cleopatra's spirit endured, a testament to the enduring power of a queen who defied convention. Through the centuries, Cleopatra's image has transcended time, evolving and captivating the imagination of generations. Cleopatra's story lives on in the hearts of those who are captivated by her legacy, a legacy of power, intellect and enigmatic charm. In the tapestry of history, Cleopatra remains a luminous thread, a powerful and enigmatic queen whose legacy continues to shine brightly. I hope you enjoyed this short video about Cleopatra, the last pharaoh. It was created using AI software, the images, the script, and my voice is all artificial intelligence. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more historical videos. If you would like any topic covered, please comment below. Again, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Until the next time, goodbye.